If you want to lose weight for real in 2023 and keep it off, let me share how you may do that in an easier way. Specifically, I'll share five practical tips on how you may get better results more easily and sustainably based on science. And it does not include eating very little, avoiding carbs, eating just once a day, popping supplements, counting calories. Actually, you don't even need to step foot in the gym. Conventional weight loss methods are all about forcing our body to do something it doesn't want to do. That's why it feels so difficult. If we want to lose weight more easily, we have to focus on the things that actually move the needle. And we have to know why our body may be storing more fat than it should and making us feel more hungry. And we can only do this if we understand how the human body works. Because if we understand what our body needs, why we may be storing more fat than we should, and why we feel so hungry, we can work with our body to help it lose weight more easily. And we can actually keep the weight off without too much effort. So let's take a look at those five practical signs based tips on how to lose weight more easily and sustainably in 2023. Number one, quality over quantity. Did you know that something you're likely eating every single day, several times per day actually, may basically be programming your body's metabolism to store more fat and at the same time increase your hunger? What I'm talking about are certain types of common additives used as emulsifiers, which helps to keep oil and water-based liquids from separating. You'll find these common additives almost everywhere in all sorts of food and beverages. Now, when researchers fed two of these common additives in the low concentrations to mice, the mice developed metabolic syndrome, low-grade inflammation, and they became obese. And not only that, when they took the gut microbes, you know, all those tiny microorganisms that live inside your gut, when they took the gut microbes of these mice and transplanted them into mice that had not been given these additives, those mice also became obese. What this means is that the effect that these additives had on the gut was enough to cause obesity. Remember, those type of additives are everywhere in all sorts of food and beverages. So maybe we shouldn't be so surprised that so many people struggle with their weight these days. Huh? Now, this study was done in mice, so you may be wondering, of course, if this applies to us humans as well. Well, it's not that easy to do a proper study like this in humans, of course, though what we do know is that overweight people have a different set of microorganisms inside their gut. So much so that if you take the gut microbes of an overweight person and transplant them into the gut of a mouse, the mouse becomes overweight. Though if you take the gut microbes of a lean person and transplant into a mouse, the mouse does not become overweight. So what happens inside your gut may mean the difference between being overweight or lean. Now, when scientists discovered how important your gut is, different industries started to take advantage of it by promoting different products to improve your gut. So what they don't tell you is that the most important factor affecting your gut is the type of foods that you eat and the quality of your diet, including all those additives you find everywhere. And as you know, you cannot solve a problem unless you remove what's causing it in the first place. Now, you may be wondering how these microorganisms can lead to weight gain and increased hunger. I won't go into detail about that here since I have so much more I want to share with you in this video. Though if you want to learn more, including seven foods you're likely eating that may wreak havoc on your metabolism, then check out my free 10-minute ultimate starter guide on unlocking natural and easier weight loss. I'll put the link in the description of this video for you. And by the way, you may also want to check out this video right here, which I will link to below as well as at the end of this video. So just to wrap up tip number one here, the quality of your diet can affect both your hunger and how much fat your body will store. This is due to how it affects your body's energy production, which is really at the core of your metabolism. So it just makes sense then, doesn't it, that you can lose weight more easily if you simply improve the quality of your diet. Now, quality can mean a lot of different things, and there's certainly more to it that can impact your weight, and we'll talk about two of them later in this video. Though for now, in this case, what I mean by quality over quantity is to focus on foods that do not contain all those additives. When you go to the supermarket, the best thing is really to focus on foods that don't even require an ingredient list because there's just one ingredient namely the food itself. Now, if you want me to make a video on what specific additives to look out for that may affect your gut and your weight, then let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a video on that specifically. Now, science-based tip number two on how to lose weight more easily, prioritize 
protein. Did you know that how much protein your diet contains can basically dictate how much you eat altogether? If your diet contains a higher proportion of protein, you naturally feel more satiated and eat less. Having a higher percentage of protein in your diet can help you burn more calories and lose more weight, naturally. So do you see how prioritizing protein can make losing weight easier? Now, there are two main issues people often face when they hear great things about including protein in their diet for weight loss. And it's usually not their fault because whoever told them about it might not have explained it properly. So here are the issues. Number one, they think they should add more protein foods to their existing diet rather than prioritizing protein. Those are two very different things. If you add more foods to your existing diet, you may end up eating more altogether. However, if you prioritize protein, meaning the proportion of protein in your diet increases compared with fat and carbs, you'll most likely naturally end up eating less. Before we talk about the second issue, let me just say welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know me, I'm Ingun, a Norwegian Viking. Many years ago, I decided to quit my career in physics and mathematics and instead use these critical and analytical skills to research nutrition and weight loss science. Because things we're told just didn't add up. And what I've found is not only mind-boggling, it has helped transform my body and life. And I'm now helping people around the world do the same. If you want to be next, make sure you watch until the end of this video. And of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Now, the second issue people often face when trying to use protein for weight loss is that they don't consider the source of protein. Where you get your protein from matters a lot. I mean, some people even consider peanut butter a good source of protein. Though peanut butter is not high in protein, it's high in fat. And not only that, peanut butter may even negatively affect your gut and metabolism. See the 10 minute ultimate starter guide for more on that. And then you have protein bars, protein shakes, protein powder. Protein powder is for people who exercise a lot or have difficulty eating enough. Protein specifically, though difficulty eating enough nonetheless or someone who wants to consume more protein without having to eat more food. So if you're using protein powder, you're really missing out on a great opportunity to eat more food, which of course will also help with your satiety in a whole other way. Once again, this shows how the quality of your diet controls the quantity to a large degree, which emphasizes even more tip number one. Though even more than that, when getting protein from protein powders, bars, or shakes, you're missing out on a lot of other nutrients that come along with high quality protein sources. Nutrients that your body needs in order to burn calories. Again, we're talking about making weight loss easier by helping your body. The best thing for your body will always be getting your nutrients from real food. So if you want the optimum effect of the protein when it comes to weight loss, make sure you prioritize protein Protein and get your protein from quality sources. Tip number three, do not avoid carbs. If you haven't watched it yet, check out this video right here. They lied about carbs, the truth about carbs and weight loss. You'll find the link below this video. In short, studies show that you burn just as many calories when including carbs in your diet as compared with if you replace those carbs with the same amount, the same number of calories from fat. Boom, case closed. Now, low carb diets have been shown in studies to be very beneficial for weight loss. However, in those studies, the low carb diet is usually higher in protein, quite a bit higher in protein than the other diets that they compare it with. So the benefits are likely not due to the lower amounts of carbs, but rather the higher amounts of protein. Now, this doesn't mean that eating loads of carbs is a great idea. Again, remember how we talked about prioritizing protein? However, cutting carbs out completely is also not a great idea because it may add stress on your body because the body now needs to produce more carbs and you, it may also increase cravings and your thyroid hormones may also suffer, which are a key part of your metabolism. So we don't want to avoid carbs, though it also matters where your carbs come from. For example, in this study, one group got most of their carbs from cereals and the other group got most of their carbs from fruit. And according to the researchers, the fruit group's diet was superior for weight loss. Not to mention, if you choose your sources of carbs wisely, 
it's difficult to overeat on carbs. Another example of why to focus on quality over quantity. So including carbs in your diet can make losing weight easier and more enjoyable, though where your carbs come from matters. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share it with a friend, and uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Viking Ingun for lots more tips. Now, tip number four, move your body. Remember how I said you do not need to step foot in the gym? Yeah, that's still true. That doesn't mean you can't benefit from working out, of course, especially if you do strength training. It can even help improve important aspects of your metabolism. However, exercising is not required for weight loss and you do not necessarily lose more weight if you work out. I know that may sound strange, though burning calories with exercise is not as simple as you'd think. We all think that the more we exercise, the more calories we burn. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Though even if you burn more calories during your workout, that does not mean that you burn more calories in total that day. Because your body will compensate for a lot of the calories you burn during your exercise by burning fewer calories on other functions within your body. And overweight people compensate the most. Actually, one study found that when women were training to run a half marathon and they were running about 50 kilometers during, a whole, during one week, they burned fewer calories than when they were running half the distance. I know it sounds crazy and counterintuitive. I explain more about this in this video right here. So check it out. I'll link to it below. So when I say move your body, I do not mean doing cardio in order to burn calories. You can do strength training if you want, which can be great for several different reasons. Also, to build a stronger, more resilient body. Though still, you do not need to do any of that in order to lose weight. You may, however, benefit from just being a bit more active in general, even if that just means going for a daily walk. It doesn't take that much and it can be an enjoyable addition to your daily routine as well. It should be an enjoyable addition to your daily routine because it's especially important that it does not become something you stress about, which often happens when people decide to, for example, join the gym or go for a daily run in order to lose weight. And that brings us to tip number five, which is to limit stress. Again, we're looking to make weight loss easier. And one of the things that can make our body hold on to more fat and even increase our hunger is the stress hormone cortisol. Even just a few nights of less sleep can increase cortisol and lead to people eating a lot more food. A lot of times we stress about things that in the great scheme of things isn't really that important. Catching ourselves when we do this and bringing ourselves back to reality and what's truly important can really help lower stress. And so can going for a walk in the forest. Just saying. Now it's the beginning of a new year and you may have decided that this is your time. This year you will lose the excess fat so that you can look your best and feel your best. And that's a great goal to have and you can definitely get there. Though what a lot of people forget when they set a goal like that is to also set action goals. What actions are you going to take in order to reach your overall goal? Because if you don't know the actions to take to reach your goal, then your goal is really just a wish or a dream. Now, what most people do is to follow conventional weight loss methods, which as we talked about, is really a way to try to force our body to do something it doesn't want to do, which is why it feels so difficult. For most people, it doesn't actually fix the cause of why we gained excess fat in the first place, which also means it's almost inevitable that we gain the excess fat back again if we even manage to lose it in the first place. Actually, a lot of people even gain more weight than they lost. Now, in this video, we have really only scratched the surface of what may be causing you to store more fat and increase your hunger, which at the core is really about the factors that impact your body's energy production. Though at least now you know five practical things you can do starting today to make losing weight easier for yourself because you're actually working with your body, not against it. So what you can do right now is to write down specific actions that you want to commit to in order to move yourself closer to your goal. And really do this now while it's all fresh in your mind. Now, if you want to know step by step how to implement this, how to lose weight by working with your body without having to count calories or even needing to exercise, then join my 90 day weight loss program called Slim by Science at slimbyscience.com. 
www.thisisfreeloadingcoach.com. You'll find the link in the description of this video. I would really appreciate if you gave this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, share it with a friend. These are two videos you'll want to check out next. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.